For today's video, we are going to talk about what is harmonic sequence. So when we say harmonic sequence, it's a special type of sequence whose reciprocals forms an arithmetic sequence. For example, the sequence 1 third, 1 over 6, 1 over 9, 1 over 12 is an example of harmonic sequence. If you are going to find its reciprocal, we are going to have 3, 6, 9, 12, which forms an arithmetic sequence. Since harmonic sequence is the reciprocal of arithmetic sequence, we are going to use the formula a sub n equals 1 over a sub 1 plus quantity n minus 1 times d, where a sub 1, that is the first term of an arithmetic sequence, n is the number of terms, d is the common difference. So these are the basic concepts that you need to remember in order for us to understand what is harmonic sequence. So let's start and let's have an example. On the first set of example, we are going to identify whether the given sequence is harmonic or not. On number 1, we have 1 over 11, 1 over 14, 1 over 17, 1 over 20. The first thing that we are going to do to identify whether the given sequence is harmonic or not is to find the reciprocals of each term in the given sequence. And we are going to use the first three terms to identify if we have a common ratio. So the reciprocal of 1 over 11, that is 11. The reciprocal of 1 over 14, that is 14 followed by 17, and then we have 20. And to find the common difference, simply subtract the first term from the second term, that is 14 minus 11 is 3, and 17 minus 14 is also 3. Since we have a common difference, therefore, the given sequence on number 1 is an example of harmonic sequence. On number 2, we have 1, 1 half, 1 fourth, 1 over 8. The reciprocal of 1, that is 1. The reciprocal of 1 half, that is 2. And then we have 4 and 8. So let us have 2 minus 1, that is 1. 4 minus 2, that is 2. Since we don't have a common difference, Therefore, the given sequence on number 2 is not an example of harmonic sequence. On number 3, we have 2, 1, 2 third, 1 half. The reciprocal of 2 is 1 half. The reciprocal of 1 is 1. The reciprocal of 2 third, that is 3 over 2. And the reciprocal of 1 half is so let us have 1 minus 1 half, that is 1 half. And then 3 over 2 minus 1, let us have 2 on the denominator, let us write 3. 2 multiplied by negative 1, that is negative 2. So 3, 3 minus 2 divided by 2, that is 1 half. Since we have a common difference, therefore the given sequence on number 3 is an example of harmonic sequence. On number 4, we have 4 and 1 fourth, 4 and 1 half, 4 and 3 fourth, and 5. So as you can see, we have a mixed number. So the first thing that we are going to do is to convert the mixed number into improper fraction. So let's have 4 times 4 is 16 plus 1, that is 17. Let us copy the denominator. 2 multiplied by 4 is 8 plus 1, that's 9. Then over 2, 4 times 4 is 16, plus 3, that is 19 over 4, and then we have 5. And then let us have the reciprocals. This will be 4 over 17, 2 over 9, 4 over 19, and 1 fifth. So let us have 2 over 9 minus 4 over 17. So let us have 153 as the LCM of 9 and 17. 153 divided by 9, that is 17. 17 times 2, that is 
34. 153 divided by 17, that is 9. And 9 multiplied by negative 4, that is negative 36. So 34 minus 36, that is negative 2 over 153. And then, let us have 4 over 19 minus 2 over 9. Let us have 171 as the LCM of 19 and 9. 171 divided by 19, that is 9. And 9 multiplied by 4, that is 36. 171 divided by 9, that is 19. 19 multiplied by negative 2, that is negative 38. So 36 minus 38, that is negative 2 over 171. Since we don't have a common difference, therefore, this one is not an example of harmonic sequence. On the second set of example, we are going to find the indicated term for the harmonic sequence. On number 1, find the tenth term of the harmonic sequence 1 over 8, 1 over 12, 1 over 16. So let us have the reciprocal of each term in the given sequence, and that is 8, 12, 16. And we are going to use the formula a sub n equals 1 over a sub 1 plus quantity n minus 1 times d. So let us have a sub 1, that is the first term in the arithmetic sequence, that is 8, and then n, that is 10, and to find the common difference, let us have 12 minus 8, that is 4. So let us have a sub 10, and that is 1, over a sub 1, that is 8, plus n, that is 10, minus 1, and the common difference, that is 4. So let us have 1 over 8 plus 10 minus 1, that is 9, times 4. So let us have 1 over 8 plus 9 times 4, that is 36. So let us have 1 over 8 plus 36, that is 44. So therefore, the 10th term in the given sequence is 1 over 44. On example number 2, find the 14th term of the harmonic sequence 56 over 113, 56 over 177, 56 over 241, 56 over 305. So let us find the reciprocals of each term in the given sequence. So let us have 113 over 56, 177 over 56, 241 over 56, and 305 over 56. So let us have the formula a sub n equals 1 over a sub 1 plus quantity n minus 1 times d. Where a sub 1, that is the first term of arithmetic sequence, that is 113 over 56, n, that is 14. The common difference, that is 177 over 56 minus 113 over 56. So let us have 56 on the denominator. 157 minus 113, that is 64. So this will be our common difference, or if you want to simplify, this will be 8 over 7. So let us have a sub 14 equals 1 over a sub 1, that is 113 over 56, plus n, that is 14 minus 1. And I'm going to write 64 over 56 instead of 8 over 7 because we have 56 on the denominator. So that if we are going to add this one, we can easily copy the denominator and simplify the numerator. So this will be 64 over 56. So let us have 1 over 113 over 56 plus 14 minus 1, that is 13 times 64 over 56. So let us have 1 
over, let us write 113 over 56. And 13 multiplied by 64, it will give us 832 over 56. So let us have 1. And as you can see, we have the same denominator. Let us copy the denominator. 113 plus 332, that is 945. And 945 over 56 can be written as 135 over 8 because they are divisible by 7. And 1 over 30, 135 over 8 can be written as 8 over 135. So this will be our 14th term in the given sequence. On example number 3, find the ninth term of a harmonic sequence with first term is 1 over 11, third term is 1 over 3. So let us identify first our given. So let us have our first term that is 1 over 11. We don't have our second term and our third term is 1 third. So let us find the reciprocal of this one. So the reciprocal of 1 over 11 is 11. And then 1 third, that is 3. So before we find the value of the ninth term, let us find first the arithmetic mean between 11 and 3. So the arithmetic mean of 11 and 3, that is 11 plus 3 divided by 2, and that is 14 divide by 2 and that is 7 and 7 this will be our second term so let us have the formula a sub n equals 1 over a sub 1 plus quantity n minus 1 times d so the value of our a sub 1 that is 11 the value of n that is 9 and the common difference that is 7 minus 11 that is negative 4 so let us have a sub 9 equals 1 over a sub 1 that is 11 plus the value of n that is 9 minus 1 times the common difference that is negative 4 so let us have 1 over 11 plus 9 minus 1 that is 8 times negative 4 so let us simplify, let us have 1 over 11 and then 8 multiplied by negative 4, that is negative 32. So let's have 1 over 11 minus 32, that is negative 21. So therefore, the ninth term in the given sequence is 1 over negative 21 or you can write your answer as negative 1 over 21. On our last example, we are going to find the 11th term of a harmonic sequence with 3rd term is 1 third and 7th term is 1 over 47. So let us identify first our given. Since our 3rd term, that is 1 third, and if you are going to find the reciprocal of this one, that is 3. And our 7th term, that is 1 over 47 and the reciprocal is 47 so let us have first second and our third term that is 3 and then fourth fifth sixth and seventh term is 47 and now we have 8 9 10 11 now since we don't have our first term, but we have our third term and seventh term, our third term will be our first term, and our seventh term will be our fifth term. That is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So let us have the formula for arithmetic sequence a sub n equals a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. And we are looking for common difference. So the value of a sub n, that is 47, a sub 1, that is 3, and the value of n, that is 5. That is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That is 5 minus 1 times the common difference. 47 
equals 3 plus 5 times 1, that is 4, and then we have D. Let us move 3 on the other side of equation. It will give us 47 minus 3 equals 4D. 47 minus 3, that is 44, equals 4D. So the common difference, that is 44 divided by 4, is 11. Now, let us have the formula a sub n equals 1 over a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. Since we have our common difference, let us identify the value of the first term. So this will be 3 minus 11, that is negative 8. And negative 8 minus 11, that is negative 19. So let us have a sub 11 equals 1 over negative 19 plus n that is 11 minus 1 times the common difference that is 11. So let us have 1 over negative 19 plus 11 minus 1 that is 10 times 11. So let us have 1 over negative 19, 10 multiplied by 11, that is 110. So let us write our answer here. That is 1 over 9, negative 19 plus 110, that is 91. So this will be our 11th term in the given sequence. Let me show you another solution on how you can find the 11th term using this pattern. So 3 plus 11 that is 14, 14 plus 11, that is 25, 25 plus 11, that is 36, 36 plus 11 is 47, 47 plus 11, that is 58, and then 58 plus 11, that is 69, and 69 plus 11, that is 80, and 80 plus 11 is 91. Since this one is an example of arithmetic sequence, let us find the reciprocal of 91, and that is 1 over 91, and that will be our answer. So I hope you've learned from this video. Thank you so much for watching, and God bless us all.